You know something a lot of y'all don't understand? Dudes, anyway. Is a girl who's only going to fight for y'all relationship by herself but for so long before she just let the clock run out. What you mean, Derek? Well, I'll tell you, Captain Obvious. That means a girl can remain in a relationship with you physically while mentally being already out the door before you can even say goodbye. This is that mental space where she's already done with your shit but still trying to accept the fact that she was wrong about you and she only do one of three things from here. Either get the courage to leave you soon, cheat, or lose herself over time. The bad news is once she gets to this space, it ain't much you can do. But the good news is if she's not there yet, there are some things you can do to keep her from reaching that destination. Like the number one thing that's gonna push a girl away into that space is feeling like your afterthought. Whereas in the beginning, you made her feel like you're shining star and now you make her feel like the light you forgot to turn off before you got into bed. So to fix this, you gotta do something like, you know, for 12 hours, just clear your schedule. This works best whenever you already have something to do, that she knows you have something to do. But phone off, just dedicate it to her. This is the part where you can include some cliche shit, you know, dinner reservations, flowers, whatever. But you also gotta risk looking stupid to let her know you don't mind swallowing your pride to make things right. Like, I don't know, come up with some rap lyrics and spit them to the beat of her favorite song on the way to the restaurant. Something she told you a long time ago so that she know that you remember. But if she watches my videos, think of something else. Like, even if it's corny, she probably still gonna appreciate it because it shows that you were willing to go the extra mile to make her smile and make her feel special. Which is that whole priority feeling she wanted in the first place. Okay, so the next thing that's going to push a girl to that mental space is inconsistency. But before you fix this, you got to sit her down and own up to it. Let her know how like shit you feel for not being on your job and then move forward. The reason why you got to sit her down and let her know that you're going to do better is because you got to restore value to your word that your inconsistency cost you. And if a man word ain't shit, he ain't shit. Just understand that once you move forward, you can't fuck up for a real long time. Because if you get right back in a situation where you apologizing, that I'm sorry going to mean about as much as a penny with a hole in it. So the last major thing that'll push a girl away into that space is of course cheating, but also acting like you want to cheat, but maybe you haven't yet. You know, phone face down all the time, ignoring late night text message notifications when y'all chilling, staring at other girls' asses, Instagram flirting, that kind of shit. Now, if you cheated, you probably fucked. But if not, then you could fix this by being hella transparent to a point where you remind her that you're still afraid to lose her, not acting like you could replace her. Whatever passcode you gotta give up, whatever friend girl you gotta cut off, whatever thirsty chick you gotta curve, loudly and proudly do it. Let your girl tell you when it's enough. Just as long as you're genuine about it, but this is gonna show her that nothing's more important than you than letting her know she's the only one for you. That includes other girls' hurt feelings when they don't understand that your relationship comes first. Because at the end of the day, ain't no girl trying to doubt whether or not her dude is really for her, especially when she knows she don't want anybody else but him. She'll eventually make adjustments, so it's on you to make adjustments first. Because if you keep pushing her away, you're going to end up trying to love her when it's too late. And if she turned her back, ain't no guarantee she coming back, no matter how many times you come running back.